Now let's go ahead and finish all the order related routes for admin. So as usual, I have created three controllers. One is list all the orders. One is to change the status and the last one is to list the orders of a given user. And in the routes.ts, I have used all these three controllers. So on slash index, it will list all the orders. Slash users colon ID, uh, user ID, it will list the orders of a given user. And put on slash status will change the status. So let's uh, do these. So first for list all the orders. So first you want to fetch the filter. Const status is equal to request dot params dot status. So if status is present, we want to do something. So first let's construct the where clause. Const let where is equal to where clause is equal to so in the where clause uh, we want to as of now we don't need anything in where clause because we want to list all the orders irrespective of any filter but if a status filter is given so we will say where sorry where clause is equal to uh, is status colon is status so it will be just a status here now let's remove this okay so if a status is there we need to alter the where clause and add the status here now we can say that const orders is equal to await prisma client dot order dot find many and inside find many we can simply say where colon where clause is skip we want to obviously include the pagination as well so we will say request dot query dot is skip or zero because as usual we want to fetch the zeroth page if uh, no skip is given and take let's say five so it should work. Let's typecast this to number. Now we can say response dot JSON orders. So uh, this is how list all orders work. Now for change status, it will be pretty straightforward again. Uh, we want to wrap it inside try catch. So let's copy this here. And if there is any error, we will say order not found. And if there is no error, we will say update. Where and in, instead of include, we want to give the data. So data will be a status colon. And we will say request dot body dot status. And apart from this, we want to create an order event as well. So we will say await prisma client dot order event dot create we will say data and order id and for the status we will say request dot body dot status so it will create the event as well. Now we need to wrap this inside the transaction. So let's uh, do this as an assignment. Wrap it inside the transaction. And so yeah, it should work, I guess. Now for list user orders, we want to do again the same thing. So let's copy this from here. Paste this. Now instead of where clause, Initially, where it will be user ID. User ID will be equal to request dot params dot ID. And it will be integer. And what it's saying, okay, so first we need to extend the where clause as well. And then we can do that. And let's give it of type n. So it should work. So if a status is given, we need to first include this user id as well and then the status so i guess it should work now so yeah now let's give it a try all these three routes go to the postman and the orders
let's close all these things first so let's first duplicate this now uh, it will be a get route order slash index let's hit send it says order not found okay seems like there is an issue in the route definition uh, we need to define this route at the very last i guess because slash uh, colon id like this index route is picked by this colon id so it's treating index as an id so we need to define this at the very last route order is important so please take care of that now let's see if it works or not yeah so it is working now let's uh, give it an status so a status is equal to accept it so let's hit send okay it's still giving the status as cancelled so i guess status query is not working request dot params dot status uh, it will be query dot status sorry because we are sending it inside a status query not the parameters now let's hit send it's giving an empty error so we will test it in a bit once we change the status of any order and let's rename this list on orders duplicate this and we will say change status it will be a put route and for change status the route is slash status so it will be slash colon id slash status because we want to change the status of any given order add in the controller yeah controller is fine so let's give it a try so i guess the order id is let me check the order id first order id is 2 and we want to change the status to accepted so we will say order id 2 and status and inside the body we will say let's hit send okay it says accepted now if we go to the list all orders so the status is accepted filter now let's hit send you can see that the status filter is working fine now one more thing is left to list all the routes for a given user so i guess it's pretty straightforward you can test it on your own so let's not waste time in that it will work in the same way just give the user id here now uh in the next lecture we will see how a full text search is performed in prisma so that let's see you in the next lecture